A couple of days ago, I came across this video that said, Dear U.S. Department of Education, my name is Alexa, and I was watching the fifth Harry Potter movie yesterday, and there's a few things that I think if I explain them to you, I can save you a lot of trouble. So in the fifth... Okay, she goes on to talk about Harry Potter uh, in terms of uh, the administration not being responsive to uh, kids and, and basically pushing forward uh, their intellectual stimulation. Let's put it this way. Uh, it talks about the U.S. Department of Education as being this sort of overbearing, uh, interfering school mom, such as a character that's in um, Harry Potter. And she suggests that the school change in a couple of ways. I'm not going to go into those details now because they're not necessarily important. Uh, and they're not important because I any physicist and physics students know that you the first year of university, if you go into science, your professor sits down, as you sit down, your professor tells you in the introduction, uh, forget everything you're, you knew in high school, it's all wrong. Uh, I've heard similar stories from stu students in, hi in history, philosophy, English literature, the, uh, name a field, and, and that's basically the story that you get. So, if the U education system in the United States is so broken that it no longer connects to uh, anything rea in reality in uh, university and open education, in this many cases that's the case then you may ask yourself, well, how do you resolve it? And the answer is actually very simple. You don't need the U.S. Department of Education. You don't need the school system to tell you how to learn. If you're already reading Harry Potter on your own, and you're reading on your own, then that's all you really need to begin with. And the question is now, how do you build your library around that? And it's, it, there are a lot of resources, like my university, which is online, is open, it's free. And you can come on, and, and you can add this into your school, and you can take charge of what you learn and what you don't learn. Is no, you can take the responsibility of teaching you out of the teacher's hands and into your own hands. And that's actually the best way to do it. Explore the world through the library as if it was a massive puzzle that you're going to go and find all these pieces, hidden pieces that people really don't know or, or are lost in history, lost in time, and you put this puzzle together. And the information it are, is, is, are the pieces of the puzzle. So my recommendation is don't, worry, don't bother with the uh, U.S. Department of Education. They're not going to change. The unions aren't going to change. Nothing is going to change. Uh, and the only way things they're going to notice is when the students are no longer there in school and because they've gotten up and walked out and started taking care of things for themselves. And ironically, that's actually the American attitude. If the government's not going to do something for you, as an American, you get up and do it yourself. And because you know how to read, you know, and most kids know how to use the Internet better than adults do, you have one massive, powerful research tool and library right at your fingertips. So, whose fault is it that you're not learning properly? Not the U.S. Board of Education, uh, U.S. Department of Education. It's your fault because the, the options are there. You have all the options and the, and, and the materials you need to learn out on the internet, free of charge. That everything's out there for free. You can go as far as you want to go with this. The choice is yours. That's the thing. You have to tie, choose to stand up and, 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 and get into this. If you don't do that, if, if, if and you're a reader and want to you know, really get your mind, mind going, if, and, and you don't do this, then the only one you have to blame for uh, the lack of stimulation is yourself. So uh, I'm not, not trying to come down. I'm just trying to say, you have options beyond the U.S. Board of Education. You have options beyond the, the standard school system that you can take 
and it's not going to cost you anything. It's going to be free, and it is the choice is whether you do it or not. That's, that's the only thing. So I hope this helps. I will leave a link in the down below bar uh, that, that will help you get started. And feel free to ask me any questions you'd like. All right, take it easy.